Hello friends today I will talk about She-Hulk episode 9. She-Hulk, attorney at law's episode from this week opens with a nostalgic intro that pays homage to the first Hulk TV show. The action immediately shifts to a prison cell where Jennifer Walters is being visited by Mallory, Nikki, and Pug. Mallory informs her that if she agrees to a set of requirements, which includes donning an inhibitor, the district attorney won't pursue charges. Jen finds herself back where she started after losing her job and the incident becoming the subject of constant media coverage. She consequently relocates back to her parents' home to help her deal with being unemployed. Days later, Nikki pays Jennifer a visit and discovers her making preparations for her capture by the intelligentsia. She watches a new video of Nikki's former co-worker Dennis Bukowski talking to the media and admitting that they once dated. He continues by saying that Jen had aggressive inclinations at times. This inspires her to travel to Emil Blonsky's property to get away from the city. In the meantime, Nikki receives an invitation to an anti-She-Hulk gathering after posting an old video of Jennifer dancing on the Intelligentia website. She brings Pugs along and instructs him to learn everything there is to know about the occasion and Jennifer's involvement. After locating Todd Phelps inside, he goes on to incite She-Hulk haters among a number of other people. Todd eventually admits that Hulk King is who he really is and that he built the Intelligentia website. Later, Todd takes the stage and declares his pride in what they recently done to She-Hulk. Jennifer develops a friendship with Dirk Garthwaite, also known as Wrecker, over at Emil's property. Jen continues that he simply wants to speak with Emil about her struggles. Emil appears in front of the crowd in his abomination form speaking about Todd's event. When Jennifer locates him, she learns about his most recent changes. Since Todd is the Hulk King and is the one who developed Intelligentia, Nikki and Pug explain to Jen that they must go. He goes on to say that he recruited Josh to steal Jen's blood so he could turn himself into the Hulk. Todd changes into a bigger, greener version of himself while Titania emerges out of nowhere. Bruce Banner accidentally engages Abomination in combat as the struggle continues. When Jennifer realizes there is a problem, the Disney Plus homepage appears on the screen. Suddenly, Jennifer enters the She-Hulk writers' meeting and informs the production staff of the terrible finale that is currently taking place. The chief writer disputes with Jen and claims that Kevin wants this, obviously pointing to Kevin Feige. Jennifer insistently assures everyone that she will discuss the conclusion with Kevin. Following a struggle with security, Jennifer is instead confronted by a device known as KEVIN, short for Knowledge Enhanced Visual Interconnectivity Nexus. She contends that the numerous Marvel Cinematic Universe projects always have the same resolution. Jen suggests an alternative conclusion that makes numerous references to MCU specifics and components. Jennifer confronts Todd and threatens to sue him because the outcome has already been determined from her point of view. Daredevil emerges in his red and yellow outfit to congratulate the attorney. Emil gets hauled away in the interim for going against his parole. Soon after, Jennifer and Matt eat lunch with the family of the former. When Bruce arrives, he presents his son Scar to everyone. The next day, Jennifer promises a reporter that, in her capacity as She-Hulk and as a lawyer, she will pursue anyone who harms or harasses innocent people. We see Emil back in prison in the scene that follows the credits. But this time, Wong makes a portal, goes to Emil, and returns him to Camartage. 